Okay, here we are back at the monitor. Uh, we're going to install the power board and make sure that the unit powers up now. Um, first thing you need to do, of course, is mount the power supply back in the unit. Um, you do want to make sure that you do put back all of the screws that you took out. Um, the unit uses some of the screws to ground the boards to the chassis to prevent electric shock hazards. Um, so you do want to make sure that you put all of those screws back in place. Okay, now that that is done, we need to plug back in the power cable that goes between the two boards. And we can rotate it back around, poke the backlight cables through the hole and if you notice there is a pink and white and a black and blue cables and then there's two plugs on the end it does not matter if you plug the pink and white or the blue and black into which connection uh, the outputs to, from the board are the same uh, so you just make sure that you want to uh, have all the plugs plugged in firmly and securely like I said it does not matter in which order you plug those into just that they are tight and secure. Okay, now we'll move this around so we can rebolt it. monitor back, rotate the unit around so that we can get to the control signal cable, plug it in, so that it's face up. Take our signal cables and our power cables. Plug in. And we have a working monitor. Now all we need to do is reattach the front bezel. and then reinstall the four screws that were around the edges and put the stand back on. And then we'll have prepared the monitor. Be sure to check out our other videos on YouTube for instructions and information on how to repair many other devices, uh, other monitors, laptops, uh, computers and such. Uh, also be sure to check out our uh, 
other portions of our website, we have lots of other information, product recalls, um, other how-tos, interesting projects, and much more at www.ccl-la.com. Thanks for watching.